Howdy y'all, it's Tab Nation Automation with your host, Tom, <clears throat> and today we're going to be doing another GUI video where we're going to talk about how to make it so when your mouse hovers over a, a control, like this one we're going to be using buttons as our example, uh, change the icon of your mouse. Um, this is cool because, yeah, you can do a lot of more creativity, make your GUIs a lot fancier. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's show you what it looks like first so you kind of understand. Um, this is uh, kind of hard to see, but as you see, I have a mouse when I'm down here, just a normal mouse pointer. But if I hover over one of these buttons here, it changes to a finger with, like, the index finger. And then if I hover over these... It changes it to still a mouse uh, pointer, but it has a question mark. So hopefully you can kind of see that. See, it changed to hand, hand, but if I'm in the middle off of anything, it's still a mouse finger or pointer. Now it's finger. And it's the same like with the uh, edit boxes. When you hover over, you get that little, uh, I don't know what these actually are called. If they have a name, I'm sure they do. Little uh, typing symbol. We'll go with that. <laughs> All right, let's look at the code now that we got a basic understanding on what I am talking about. Uh, let me find the code. There we are. So basically what happens is right here, we're setting up my GUI. So I'm creating the GUI, and then before, and then we do GUI show. So the GUI has been created. Well, it's still going. There's no return here. Uh, if auto jump, these are kind of changing settings uh, based on your setting preference for an INI file, so we're ignoring those. No return, so it's still going. But here's where we get to it. So these are the name, and that's the ID that's like kind of built into the computer. So here's like an arrow. Uh, here's a cross. So if you want like a like a trigger looking crosshair thing, uh, like a gun crosshair, hand, that's the one we were using. And uh, basically these are the options you got. <clears throat> uh, some of them you might have to just test out to see what they are, Google them. Like I can't think what no is, that might just be a red X. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm sure you can Google the IDC dot, or underscore 909 or the ID here. But if not, you just play around until you figure out which one you like. So, down here. As you saw in that GUI that I showed you, we had two that we were using. We were using the pointer finger and the question mark pointer. So that's why we have two DLL calls here, one for each. So the first one, I'm just naming it for the variable B cursor. And that's button cursor is basically what I went with. We're doing a DLL call. I've done videos on those if you want to know what that actually is, more about them. So I'm not going to jump too in depth in here. But uh, what was the one we were using? Uh, hand. As you see right here, that's the same thing. IDC hand. So that is where you're putting what you want. And then right here we have IDC underscore help. And that is where we're putting our help uh, pointer one. So yeah, and this is just saying load cursor, blah, blah, blah. So this is basically setting up what we want our settings to be, I guess you would say. Now right here, we're doing on message. And this is basically uh, a mouse move. So anytime I move my mouse, it's going to do a check and see what's going on. So yeah. Then for some reason, I have another GUI show down here, which is kind of weird. I don't need that. I'll have to delete that later. I have two go GUI shows that make no sense. Um, so yeah, uh, these are a few more settings that are being set up. This line, I can actually delete, ignore all that. Now down here is when we're doing our setting up what we want to happen kind of thing. So the first thing we're doing is when we have that mouse move, it's calling down here, and it's getting our parameters of width and length of the GUI. Uh, we do need to make our variables global, so just global, and then whatever you named your DLL call up here. So obviously, once again, we have two, so we're doing two. Mouse get position of our control, or name it control. 
So if control equals button one, so that's that's the name of the button is button one in my GUI. We're then going to do DLL call set cursor U I N T and B cursor. B cursor is basically that's where we're saying whatever I called it up there. <clears throat> so up there we're grabbing that information. Down here we're telling it to actually display. So as you see, I have you know button one. Button 2, button 3, button 4, button 5, and then I have a list box where that question mark one is. And as you see, these are all B cursor, where this one is LV cursor. And that one's just called list box one. If I had a second list box I wanted to do something, that would just be list box two. Very simple. You don't have to go off, give them a variable name or an actual title or anything. You can just go on the position they are in the GUI. Uh, and then return because we are done so yeah hopefully uh, i explained that one well hopefully you could visually see that and the gui was kind of small with my mouse uh, clicker uh, pointer uh, but yeah if you guys have any questions on this let me know in the comments below thumbs up's always going to help me in the future and currently too and uh yeah hopefully uh you guys stick around for lots more videos coming your way all right everybody see you on the next one